Hi guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you guys about something really, really exciting, and that is the new Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette that I won from Ipsy OS. Now, if you guys are not signed up for Ipsy OS, I highly, highly suggest it, because if you are a creator, it doesn't matter what size your channel is, it doesn't even matter if you are signed up for Ipsy, the subscription box, it does not even matter. This is just a platform for all creators to where if you are in, like, Los Angeles or, you know, you live in California, if you have any kind of Ipsy studio around you, you can film there for free. You can possibly get free invites to certain kinds of events. You know, you get a lot of help on the site. They post a lot of blog posts that help you with your channel and to grow your channel. And they throw giveaways like this in with your emails, you know. So I actually found this in my email and it was an instant win kind of thing. And they sent it out to me. And this is not available until early December, I believe. But it is amazing and I cannot wait to talk to you guys about it. So if you are interested in seeing and hearing a little bit about this and seeing a little demo that I did with this look, then just keep watching. Now the box looks like this when you get it and it just looks kind of like the chocolate bar palette only it says bonbons on here and the actual case of it is just like the chocolate bar palette this is them side by side they both have that kind of hard metal casing and it's really thin so it's not bulky I love that it's pink I love that it's pink and it also comes with the cards to give you a couple of looks that you can do step by step which is also really really nice and the hearts like this is just a beautiful palette to me I really 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 like the look of this palette now when you open it up it's just like the normal chocolate bar palette it's got the mirror with the name on here and then it comes with all of these beautiful shades I'm gonna try not to blind you guys but they're little hearts and I was kind of thinking when I first saw the palette I'm like well if they're little hearts, are they going to be, like, big enough to work with? You know how palettes kind of don't have enough space when they do cutesy little things like that? But there is. There is enough space to get your brush in there and not make too much of a mess. And I really, really like this. Now, one thing that I noticed about this palette is the color here that is like a flesh color. And this is the kind of color that out of the chocolate bar palette, I actually use on top of my primer. And with this one in the chocolate bar palette, I've actually almost hit pan on it. Now, with the chocolate bar palette, I have noticed that these shades, the bigger shades, are actually bigger in the chocolate bar palette than in the bonbon palette they are much, much smaller. So I'm not sure if there's less product in there. I'm guessing that there is, but there may actually be more product in the heart pans. And I'll have to actually check that out and I'll leave that down below for you guys. But the range of shades in this palette versus the chocolate bar palette. There is an incredible range going on here. Now with the chocolate bar palette, honestly, I love this palette, but I can only do so many shades with it in my eyes before I'm like, what else can I do? Now, with the Bomb Bomb palette, I've actually done three looks already, three completely different looks already. You can see that on my Instagram. I've been posting them there. But I still have looks that I can do. I still have transition shades I haven't used. I still have lid colors I haven't used. There's... It just seems like the possibilities with this are endless. And when you first look at it, you're like, I don't know. It seems just like a whole bunch of neutral shades. But it's really not. It gives you so much room to do so many things with all of these shades. I mean, it gives you like three or four transition shades. It gives you a whole bunch of like metallics. And the thing that I like about it the most, my favorite shade out of this by far is Satin Sheets right here. Now, Satin Sheets is like a duo chrome and it is gorgeous. If I do like a metallic look with this, I like to use it on my brow bone. And if I don't, like today, then I use it in my inner corner highlight. And it is one hell of an inner corner highlight, you guys. It is gorgeous i love it so much now what my favorite transition shade out of here is almond truffle which is this shade down here and it's like a dusty rose and i love a good dusty rose and this is a good dusty rose none of these shades are powdery none of them they all are kind of lightly pigmented some of them are lightly pigmented more like the transition shades are lightly pigmented but you can build them up to look so beautiful and then they have really like this cafe oulat or oulate i don't know how to say that the most gorgeous color ever on top of this molasses chip i mean this is just a beautiful palette you guys and it smells like chocolate just like the chocolate bar an amazing amazing palette to buy somebody for christmas 
And the Divinity here, which is the flesh tone color I was talking to you guys about, which is smaller than the one that's in the Chocolate Bar palette, is actually more pigmented and a little bit lighter on the skin. So it actually works way better to set your primer on your eyelids than the Chocolate Bar one does, which I'm really, really excited about that because I love the Chocolate Bar one because it's very silky, it smells like chocolate, and it just works great as setting my primer on my eyelids. This one works even better and is more pigmented, so the colors that I use on my eye are more pigmented. So I really, really appreciated that. Now today I used Almond Truffle in my crease. I used Totally Fetch here on the middle of my eye, as you can see. I used the Cafe Oulate or whatever in the inner corner of my eyelid. And then I went in with Dark Truffle here on the outer edge and smoked it out. And then I used Satin Sheets as an inner corner highlight. Now I'm going to show you guys a demo of me applying this on my eyes. It's so easy to do. I've never had an eye look just come out so flattering in such a small amount of time. Like it doesn't take very much to create a beautiful look with this palette. So I will show you guys that and then we will come back and we will talk some more. Now on the back, this says it includes 16 matte and shimmer shades and it's all together. Now what I see out of it, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like there's six mattes, so there has to be probably like 10 shimmery shades in here. Well, actually no, there's about seven mattes if you include Divinity. So there's a pretty good size amount of mattes versus shimmer because shimmer I think that people use more on their eyelids mattes are more for like smoking out a color or just transition shades and so they give you more mattes than they normally do in their palettes and I think that it is wonderful they all kind of mesh together you know like you can actually put any look on here and any of the other eye colors will go along with it so there's just an endless amount of possibilities with this palette I I love it. I absolutely think that it is worth every single penny. Every single penny. And to be honest, 
the satin sheets I would actually like to get in a single shadow color. I would buy that over and over and over again. I'm not sure if it's limited to just this palette or if they will come out with it single. I hope they do because, I mean, this is such a unique color right here. I can't even explain it, you guys. This palette is worth it just for that color. And if you do get to a store and be able to swatch it, swatch satin sheets. You will see exactly what I mean. It just changes colors when you move. And it's so pigmented and so, so bright. So my final opinion on this is I love the packaging over anything. I love the colors. I love the satin sheets. I love everything about this palette. This is going to be my go-to for a very, very long time. It's going to be a favorite for a very, very long time. I mean, the chocolate bar is like my go-to every single day anyway. I use colors out of there almost with every single look that I do. And now I have a color like the chocolate bar palette is more of a warm tone orangey. And this is kind of more of a warm tone like pink e, you know like this is more of an orange brown this is more of a pink brown so it gives you like a very good kind of mix if you keep both of them and it's magnetic they're sticking together they love each other so I would highly, highly recommend getting this when it comes out. I will leave the release date down below for you guys, but I love this palette. I actually have nothing bad to say about it. None of the colors that I've used, and I've used almost every single one, nothing about the packaging, nothing about the performance of the shadows. There's just nothing wrong with this palette. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Too Faced and their chocolate palettes, like the palettes that smell like chocolate, are just out of this world always worth every single penny. Let me know what you guys think and if you are going to end up getting the palette or not. I would really like to know your guys' thoughts on it. If you guys also ended up winning it from Ipsy OS, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on it. I absolutely am addicted and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys!